curriculum radio. We tune in for you. And now, spend your day with craziness, entertainment news, reactions, and Q&As. This is Yellowcast, curriculum's number one podcast series. Ah, welcome back everyone. After four days of waiting, we're finally back at Curriculum Radio HQ. It's a peaceful day here today, we're almost through the weekend, and everything. Surely nothing else could go wrong. All your favorite podcasts are in the right place. This is Curriculum Radio. The following program is rated 13. Alright, break time is over, it's time to stop being so lazy and get off that Nintendo Switch, especially you, Rigby. Rigby, could you please give me your Nintendo Switch? Hey, are you deaf? Give me your Nintendo Switch before I smash it into pieces. Fine, that's it. and you smashed my Nintendo Switch. What kind of sick man are you? Already? We only just started and now things are getting chaotic around here. Sorry about that. I didn't know what else to do. But anyway, we'll be talking about a wide range of stuff, including the upcoming launch of TEG 1994's Big Brother. But first, we'll be addressing something that has come to light yesterday. Curriculum got an ominous email from David Studios. Do any of you remember him? Yeah. Back in the autumn of 2023, he took down two videos that were related to 100 Bird Street, which is considered wrong and ridiculous. He almost took down Curriculum's channel, but it survived. But now, it feels like it's going to happen all over again. What do you think, guys? Do you think Curriculum is going to close down, and if that's so, could it move to Alex Chapman's YouTube channel if necessary? False. Curriculum is not shutting down. In fact, it never will. <laughs> YouTube would never do something like that for no reason. When I looked at that email David Studio sent to Norman, I was suspicious. I looked up on Google or YouTube to see if there's anything about David Studios. But it turns out it never existed because that email is fake and is a scam and it could even steal Norman's data for it. That theory of curriculum's closing is debunked and we can all agree that we should just ignore David Studios and not trust him. <laughs> as long as we're here, we can still provide entertainment to everyone. Isn't that right, Chuck? Yeah, you're totally right, Paper. But out of the negative, Let's read out this week's questions. Brian Animates asks, Do an interview with the RTL police guy from my channel. Oh. I don't know if I could do it because I feel like there's- <laughs> Wait, what the hell? What the hell just happened? Damn it, why did we have to interview that weirdo? We should have never let him in. Anyway, next question. Have you guys ever played Call of Duty? Well, I haven't really played it much, but I have. Question 3. When is Yellowcast getting new presenters? Room for Pidoon. We don't need more presents in the podcast with Spives. We already have Courage Rigby, Rock, Paper, and Scissors, so it's unnecessary for that. We would have the whole studio filled up with a lot of people here. What next? Is Molly Muggy and Dexter going to join? Shut the f*** up! Question 4. Do you guys have a favorite drink besides Pepsi? Water. Yup, that's it! Water rehydrates your body. Um, what? Anyway, Chuck, how do you feel about the Gabriel anime Tomoda sauce spam? Well, 
it's freaking annoying, and if Gabriel Animate is watching, if you keep spamming comments about tomato sauce, your comment will be deleted, or worse, get blocked. End of subject. Anyway, and the Go Animate asks, Hey Chuck, what is your favorite season? For me, summer. I wouldn't be surprised. Because we happen to love summer too. I know it's only March, but we can already feel the summer happening right now. Question 2. Hey guys, did you know that Among Us is gonna get the TV show? Wait, is this true? Are we really going to have an Among Us series on TV? If that's so, which channel will they air that show? I don't know, but I do know so far that CBS Studios will produce it. That's all I know. But wait, there's more. This next question says, Did you also know that Mr. Beast is gonna get the TV show? Oh, are you kidding me? Is this for real? Are we really gonna s- No way, hang on. I'm reading this post from The Hollywood Reporter. The hugely popular YouTube star has struck a deal with Amazon MGM Studios for his first traditional TV series, a competition described as the biggest reality competition series in television history. The project is based on his YouTube show entitled Beast Games. It will feature 1,000 contestants competing for a $5 million cash payout. The prize is touted as the biggest single prize in the history of television and streaming. Sources say Amazon outbid at least one major streaming rival to make the deal with Mr. Beast, aka Jimmy Donaldson who is the most popular content creator on YouTube. Donaldson also negotiated the right to retain creative control of the production. Wow, so we're really going to be having a Mr. Beast TV show. That's crazy, literally. I mean, what's next? Question 4. Hey Courage, what is your thoughts on that grumpy old man? Hey, you talking about Houston's? Okay, what the hell? Holy hell, what is going on? Uh oh, Donald Duck is on LSD. Bring him the Amber Lamps. New from Spotify, you can relax and go to sleep easily with the sounds of thunder and the ocean waves. God darn it Spotify. Anyway, question 5. Hey guys, what is your favorite YouTuber? I have a list. Chuck's favorite is Pudi Pie. Mine is Dan TDM. Kiff's favorite is Stampy. Courage's favorite is Luigikid, Paper, Rock. And Scissors's favorite is Jacksepticeye. And last but not least, Orange's favorite is Markiplier. You're welcome. Anyway, let's see what other questions you guys have for us next. Shadowhunter580 asks, Have you guys heard that Sonic is gonna have a crossover with Angry Birds along with other Rovio games, especially the second Angry Birds 2 sequel because of Sega well announced that they'll be owning Rovio? Wait what? So Sonic is going to do crossovers with Angry Birds now? I didn't know that. Well, this is becoming a reality now, since Sega announced that they will buy Rovio, the company that made Angry Birds. So, yeah, that's a pretty interesting change. Question 2. Do you guys think Kung Fu Panda 4 is going to be the worst sequel of the bunch? Well, to be frank, I really don't care because I love this movie, no matter the hate. What? You seriously love this movie that nobody gives a toss about? Are you kidding me? Are you actually obsessed with this shipwrecked cancer? Look, I know it's entirely your opinion, but you can't just hate a movie that- No. I meant it very clearly. That movie is trash, it's ruined, and people should change back the clock and regret what they watch. Dude, what the hell is even the problem with the movie? I, I watched it last week, and it was awesome. It even had generally positive reviews. Don't trust Wikipedia, you stupid brainless nerd. Wikipedia is wrong. Just remove that film from your watch list and stop loving that movie right now. Or what? You'll cause another shooting? 
We can't let that happen again. But it will unless you don't change your opinions of the film altogether. Did you just plot for another active shooting? That is completely unacceptable, and we can't repeat the same tragedy as last week. Now get out before I tease you. I hate you all. Question three: Did you guys know that Shirk is gonna come back in a fifth sequel after eight years of its last sequel, which it took a long ass time because of the show not getting a sequel in the movie franchise? My God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. Well, guys, it's official. Shrek 5 is actually happening for real, and even stars like Mike Myers and Eddie Murphy will be coming back as well. I don't know when it's coming out yet, but it's really awesome. Question 4: Why the hell were you guys not presenting this episode because of you guys being drunk? Explain it to me now. Oh come on now, I already told you that last week, I apologize. Liar. We don't believe everything you said because your apology was insincere and stupid. Do you know why? It's because you are unfit to present this podcast. Excuse me! Yes you heard me, Chuck Bird is mentally unstable. He is not even presenting a podcast, he's just acting like a failure that nobody trusts. He is one of the most disgusting people I have ever met, and he is far more worse than Milton Castillo is. That man needs to be removed from curriculum for good. Enough with your protesting. Get out of the studio. Chuck Bird is a cold-blooded murderer. Wait, what did she just say? Forget it. She is just talking rubbish. That's all. Anyway, moving on. Who's the best singer, hip-hop, rapper, or country musician? A3, also known as Alabama 3. Huh? I know I should have never said that. Anyway, if you want to submit more questions, then, as always, leave a question down below. Ugh. Finally. I thought it would never finish. Okay, so we've got some exciting news to share with you all. Big Brother is coming. No no no, not the UK one. What I mean by this. TEG 1994's Big Brother will be premiering on Curriculum and 2 TV Bravo in Hungary on April 3rd, 2024. Yep, that's less than a week from now. I know that. I already talked about this on M and Trev. Finally, Ramon is launching a new show that is not a logo blooper series. I'm really excited for the new show. But who are the 10 people moving in? I'm currently looking at that on Curriculum Blog. And let me tell you, the lineup is really interesting. It says that Sam and Scotty are both gonna be in the show, along with Cindy's daughter Marshmallow, Fan, no, not my brother, and Gumball Watterson. Holy crap. But, there's also a downside. Eleanor and Carmen are both gonna be in the show, which makes no sense because Big Brother does not accept children as contestants, which is really stupid. We need to know who is presenting the show. Michael Vasquez. The same guy who hosts Tournament of Champions. That is all I know from this point. FBI, stop! What? Shut up. If I see another person talking, we'll shoot. Do you understand? Now step away from the desks immediately. I am not asking you again. I mean it. Okay, 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 take it easy, woman. What is your problem? What's my problem? I'll tell you. You still refuse to react to that this has to stop video that the FBI has requested you to do it. But I already reacted to it. Liar. You of all people didn't even react to the video at all. You just skipped it on purpose. Because we didn't want to get into a serious dispute with the FBI over the video. I don't care. I haven't slept in weeks, I'm stressed out, and I'm helpless here. Just react to the video. DO IT, Laurel, DO IT! Please, react to the video for once. I'm begging you. Why? What are you gonna do? Throw us in the court, sending us the prison? Just react to the damn video. Okay! <sighs> Oh look, a heart.
harmless VR headset. Welcome! Do you like the circus? Sure, I love the circus. Well, what if I told you that you can never leave? <laughs> Wait, no. Sucks to be you! Oh, you're gonna hate it here. No, no! <laughs> Come on, Bellow. Specifically, Chuck and his friends have been reacting to the video to for at least four voice. minutes. You can tell the that they don't provide any commentary said, at all, just reacting to it. To close off the video. Every once in a while, I may throw up like a mini dub of one of these shows. Just come on, they're amazing shows. But that's just a small little addition. The Owl House of Bridge will continue on as usual with many new episodes coming soon. <laughs> Wait, that was it? Nobody even said a word while reacting to the video. Ugh, finally. You decided to watch the whole video for once. Well, that may seem understandable, but I am still not- Can you change the fact that we will not stop using the freaking eye voices? Twitter. That's for breaking into the studio, for no reason, you corrupt rat. Okay, now that she's been taken care of, let's continue. We're gonna play a little game of guess that character. Inside Out Edition. Does that count as a game time? Well, yes, I think it is. We'll only be doing three rounds of the game, so let's just jump into the action. Round 1. Who is the character whose head is on fire and is angry a lot? Anger. Duck. Correct. Round 2. Who is this character that sometimes has sparkling eyes? Oh, I think I know who it is. Is it, uh, um, Uahai? Envy? Wow, he knows it too. That's correct. Okay. Final question. Who is this young girl that the emotions always control in her mind? Riley. That's correct. Congratulations, Orange, Scissors, and Red. You have won. For this prize, you can get to see the pre-premiere of Inside Out 2. Yes, we won. Now we can see the movie before everyone else. Woohoo. Wait a minute. You can't have three people winning a game all at once. That's just stupid. It's called sharing. Travis, we have to respect their wishes. Oh, you're right. Well, I'll allow it for once. Anyway, let's talk about Taylor Swift. Yes, you know her name, and the whole celebrity world is talking about her. It's been like this ever since the start of her era's tour. This tour is the biggest that Taylor Swift has ever held. It dominated news cycles and social media engagement, and people had been dashing for tickets so much that even Ticketmaster, an official ticketing partner, was scrutinized for its controversially ineffective sales of the tour's tickets and an alleged monopoly in the concert industry. It also has a film based on the tour, and it quickly became the highest grossing concert film of all time, earning $261.7 million. Wow! That is a lot of cash. Now, when's the next concerts going to be held? I'll list out a few of them. May 9th to 10th in Paris, May 17th in Stockholm, May 24th in Lisbon, May 30th in Madrid, June 2nd in Lyon, June 7th and 8th in Edinburgh, June 14th in Liverpool, and so on. The tour will end in December later this year, so you still have plenty of time to see the concerts. That is if you still can. But anyway, let's try again with another reaction video. Okay, what are we reacting to this time? Ooh, what is this? A regular show episode? Yay! Oh, I know what this episode is about. It's about Mordecai attempting to start a relationship with Margaret. That looks exciting. Yeah, let's watch it. Wait, what the hell? Attention user. It looks like you were attempting to watch an episode of regular show online. This is considered piracy and the FBI does not accept that. Piracy is a crime, and what you're doing is illegal and unacceptable. Excuse me! You heard. Close the tab and delete that site on your search history, or there will be consequences. Oh, come on, man. We were just about to watch an awesome episode. Just close the tab now before I jump scare you to death. All right, all right, all right, all right. Jesus. Well, damn it. It failed. We could not get to see the whole episode. Oh well, I guess we'll be reacting to something else next time. What the hell? What's going on? I don't know. I think we just lost the connection. We have to get an IT repairman to find out what's happened. 
What the? This is an urgent warning for the curriculum radio staff. Stay away from Chuck Bird immediately. I repeat, stay away from Chuck Bird immediately. Chuck Bird is a murderer and the FBI has been trying to hunt him down for a long time. If you are with him, get out and call the police. If I ever see you calling him or his friends, then you will see exactly what Chuck is about to get. Mark my words. What the hell just happened? I think our broadcast has been hijacked. Hijacked? Who would do that? I don't know. Could it be? The FBI. Damn right it was us, losers. Hang on a minute. I thought I had you barred from the premises. How did you find your way back in? That's none of your concern. I'm gonna finish where I started, and this time, you're all dead meat. Dead meat? What are you talking about? Is this about David Studios, or BJ Adventure Vlog, or even Milo 778? It's not them that is the problem, Chuck. It's you. What? Me? What did I do wrong? Some new information has come to light, and it's likely about you. A viewer from Curriculum Radio said that before you and the Yellowverse existed, you apparently killed a 19-year-old girl. Hey! Where is all of this coming from? Do you really think that? Are you high or something? Why would you have to accuse me of something like that? I didn't kill anyone. Well, to prove to the people that I'm not stupid, here is a news report. Here or a good evening. We have just received reports of a 19-year-old girl who's been murdered outside her small home in Reykjavik, Iceland. The girl, identified as Azabrinda Sardotta, was arguing with the man, and that was when he struck a knife at her and stabbed her to death. The police have just identified Chuck Bird as the suspect, who and his family have been spending a vacation in Iceland since yesterday. He's been arrested by police and is currently serving a sentence in a prison cell. What? Is this some kind of an early April Fool's joke? Huh? What the hell were you thinking? Wait, is this true? Chuck actually killed an innocent teenager? Of course it's not true. That news report we watched is a hoax. It's doctored. Unfortunately, it is not fake news. It is purely 100% real, and anyone who says it otherwise is cursed. Chuck Bird, I have seen multiple errors that your life is having. First of all, you refused to watch We Have to Stop This or whatever video title it was, which you ultimately did. Secondly, you hosted the podcast while drunk, and three, you are a dangerous criminal. We now know who you really are. You are a psychopath, a murderer, and an evil person. That's not true! Chuck didn't kill that girl! He's innocent! Not anymore he isn't. Going forward, no one should ever speak to Chuck ever again. Ever. And I mean ever. Chuck Bird has made way too many mistakes, and it's getting too much. I'll do anything for you, okay? If I could change back the clock, I wouldn't be as ruder as Milton was. I'm sorry. Too late. The damage is already done. You blew your last chance, and I am left with no choice. Chuck Bird, I am suspending your duties from curriculum, effective immediately. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. <sighs> what? Oh. My. Freaking. Lord. I'm sorry, but this is the only way to end the corruption in this pedcast. Are you actually- If you dare speak again, you're done. You got it? Now listen. You will no longer be able to see Chuck ever again. He will no longer laugh with you, entertain with you, and he will never cherish the best memories with you all. But you- SHUT UP! Please. No more talking. I can't take this anymore. That is just ridiculous. <laughs> you can't just arrest Chuck and fire him from this podcast studio over a crime. He didn't commit. He is a perfectly innocent human being. A freaking innocent kid. He's right. You have no right to do any of these actions. You are not even the boss of Curriculum Radio. I'd rather call the police if I have to. Go ahead. Call the police. Everyone still deserves to know that Chuck Bird is a criminal. No, he's not. And by next Thursday, the court is due to decide Chuck's fate, whether he should go to prison or not. If he does, he could be in prison for a long, long time. Wait, 
So how long is Chuck gonna be in prison for? Life imprisonment, apparently. Oh, oh my, my god! god. <sighs> Hi, just why? Why would the FBI arrest a man for doing something that he didn't even commit? <laughs> this is all a joke. From now on, Chuck will no longer be appearing on Curriculum's videos, and all of his Yellowverse series like Yellow Bird Plays, Yellow Bird Reacts, and 100 Bird Street Shorts, excluding this podcast, will be under suspension. You can't do that! I already have! Chuck, please go through the door on your way out. Now. I'm sorry, please forgive me. <laughs> I can't believe this. Dear listeners, I have no idea what is going on, and I don't know what is happening. Apparently, what you just witnessed is another actual event, this time Chuck getting arrested by the FBI for a crime he didn't commit. He claimed that the news report about a murder in Iceland was a hoax, but the FBI didn't believe him, and handcuffed him. Now, with him going to court next week, all of us here at the Curriculum family are really worried about his fate. He could be going to prison for weeks, months, years, or even forever. Chuck Bird has been fired and terminated from curriculum, and all of his shows, excluding Yellowcast, will be under suspension until further notice. Yellowcast will still be airing however, but without Chuck, and his replacement will be revealed, and will serve that role, until, hopefully, we can't see Chuck setting himself free. We can't let Chuck fade away for good. We must fight for him. We must find a way to appeal to Chuck's imprisonment and bring him back. We may have faced challenges before. We have never backed down, never surrendered to fear, and now, Curriculum is asking for your help. We must fight for Chuck's freedom of speech and his rights, and we must release him before the FBI could lock him up in prison forever. To volunteer, please type hashtag free Chuck, and we can fight against the corrupt FBI especially Agent Natasha, yes, the one who arrested Chuck, in the first place. If Chuck goes to prison forever, the Yellowverse will be ruined, and will never be the same without him. That's why we need him back the most. Stay tuned, because Boomerang Days is up next. Curriculum Radio was owned by Curriculum Entertainment and all of its content belongs to their respective owners. All rights reserved.